We ask that you please direct your attention to the north end of the stadium and stand to honor America as the Squire Band performs our national anthem. Just a reminder, there are no pass outs once you're in the gate. Again, I could understand if he chose to receive, if he if he won the toss, if he chose to receive, and if he can put a quick score up on the board and put Manchester in a little bit of a bind early, and Rochester scored on their first five possessions last week against Whitco. Yeah. We, we should mention, Randy, um, Wabash returned to kick the opening kickoff for a touchdown last week against Manchester. Uh, the, the, the Baldwin kid, who's a pretty good athlete, returned one. So just keep that in mind because I, I thought I thought Maddox Jewell came close to breaking one last week, and uh, Zach Parks is also a pretty capable kick returner. Rochester has won the toss and they will elect to be seen. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. Big game in the TRC tonight. Lewis Cass at Northwestern. Both of those teams are 2-0 in the conference. The other team that's 2-0 in the conference is McConaughey. They are at Whitco. And then the other game is Peru at Wabash, Southwood at Northfield. Yeah. For the first time this season, their first ever 
Indiana and Indiana Northern State Conference game at Knox. First time those two teams have played since 1988. Yeah, against a Knox team that's coming off a rough loss to Culver Academy last week. Carson Heath. That's where Maddox Jewell will take over. Sorry, Steve. <laughs> Button got pushed. Hey, apologize to that. Freshman, Back here. freshman Jonathan Miller with a nice tackle. He shed a block, or th that almost went yeah. for a longer way. But the Zebras will certainly take the 43-yard line for their opening field position. So we're ready to go for the first play from scrimmage. And Pollock up underneath. Grant Pollock. Clark lined up in the slot. And here comes the Zebras. They come to the near side, and that's going to be Clarence Garrett. That's Brant Beck with Brand. the okay, 23. 17. I was going to say that was Beck. Beck with a break, break out there, and he gets the Steve Moore insurance first down. So the Zebras. Well, they lined up Clark as a slot receiver, but they just overloaded the side, and they just outnumbered Manchester at the point of attack. A good first sign for the Zebras. First and 10 into Manchester territory from their own 40. Pollock up under center. Pollock puts Beck in motion and pitches back to him. Beck around the left side. Breaks one tackle at the line of scrimmage. Still on his feet. Going to be down near the 31, 32 yard line. So a pickup of eight for Beck that time. It'll bring up second and two for Rochester. You know, Reese Gertie was there in pursuit and he just bounced off Brand Beck. He I mean he went I mean he went for a ride and Brand Beck said see how, see how long you can stay on this Bronco. <laughs> Pollock up under center. And he gained about four more yards after that. Brand Reese Gertie's not a <laughs> he's a good athlete. Beck goes in motion. He gets the handoff again to the left side. Gets the first down and more. Beck breaks a couple of tackles. Going to be down inside the 20 near the 15-yard line. Looks like they might mark him at the 16. So another Steve Moore agency first down for Rochester. The Zebras finding something on that left side. And they moved Brand Beck all over the formation in just three plays. There was a kind of a jet sweep. I don't know what call it a jet sweep, but just an overall sweep, kind of an end around. Already three carries for 40 yards. Pollock up under center. Shots in at fullback. 10-20 to go here in the opening quarter. They pitch it back to Beck again. Beck goes up the middle this time. Beck dives in across the 10. And they're going to mark him down at the 10. So give him a pickup of about five, six yards. Give him going to mark him at the 10. So we're inside the red zone. Red Zone brought to you by Rochester Glass for the Zebras. Shots with a little bit of a lead yeah, block there. Nice, and, nice block. Uh, set the path. Murphy in this time over on the left side. Beck set up on the right side. The Zebra's not afraid to run behind Liam Pinder either. Here is Pollock. Now they put Murphy in motion. They fake the handoff to Murphy. That goes. The, middle, the, the ball got fumbled. I didn't even see it, Val. Did you? No. And picked up by Manchester. Mason Rooney with the fumble recovery. Boy, I did not see that ball come loose. Not sure who had it. So the Manchester Squires take advantage of a mistake on the Zebra offense, and they get the ball at the 28, 28 yard line. Boy, I think about a 21 yard return. Yeah. So here comes Manchester now up under center. 
back. Rex, Rex Moore, Moore puts a man in motion. Moore pitches it to the backfield. Comes around this near side. Gertie is the, is the carrier. Gertie's still on his feet and going to be down short of the first down by about a yard. Give him a nine-yard pickup. It'll be second down and a one. Second and one. Actually, it looks like they're going to mark him just about two yards short, so eight yard. I think that was uh, Bowers with the tackle. So they split a man each way. Moore up under center. Moore tries to keep it himself, goes right back up the middle, and he's going to get the first down. Needed two. He got about two and a half, so Manchester with a first down. So Moore will keep it himself that time. Moore again, like we said, coming in at 5'6", uh, 135-pound junior. Coming to the near side this time will be Ben Brown. Brown split to this near side, right in front of the Manchester squad. The handoff from Moore goes first man through. Is that Gertie? That was Rooney. Rooney, okay. Rooney stacked up, and he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. So it'll be second down and 10. Second and 10 here in the first quarter. 8.20 to go here in the opening quarter on the Fulton County Solid Waste District scoreboard. Again, the center Miller is 6'4". The quarterback, Moore, is 5'6". He just basically hides behind the center. Here comes the back up the middle again. That one's going nowhere. In fact, I think they might have got him behind the line of scrimmage that time. And that was Rudy again, a 5'8", 170-pound senior. Loses one there, so it'll be third and 11 now. Camden Susaraba is in there at a defensive tackle spot. Coach uh, Schaefer told us uh, earlier in the week that he was fr healthy and he was going to see some time maybe at the defensive tackle spot or maybe a tight end on offense. And I think he helped kind of uh, jam up that play with help from Heisey. They spread everybody out in order to throw it, and it's going to be incomplete as the intended receiver slipped. And Gertie was the intended receiver. He slips and uh, wasn't able to get back to it. And that'll bring up fourth and 11, and the Squires will have to punt away. It's a nice idea. Yeah. Just uh, Gertie got tripped, tripped himself up, tripped on a shoelace or something. Parks back at the Zebra 25, 30 yard line. Well, you just rarely see the Zebras fumble on a trap play. Yeah. That trap play has been so good to them. And they tried to. Back to punt. Uh, is believe is Cale Bennett, number five, almost blocked. It'll drop at the 35 and it'll roll. Parks will stay away from it. And the Zebras will have it first and 10 from their own 20 yard line. So on their second possession of the evening, the Zebras will take over first and 10 from their 20. Don't forget about uh, our great sponsors. We want to thank First Federal Savings Bank. They don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. Fulton County Best One Tire, the most important person to them is you. RTC Communications, phone, cable, and internet. All proud supporters of Zebra Football. 7.17 to go here in the first quarter. Scoreless so far. Zebras on their first possession fumbled it. Manchester on their first possession had to punt it away. So now Zebras will have it on their second attempt. Pollock will come up under center. The big guy Miller in there, a defensive tackle. Beck goes in motion. Beck gets the handoff. Beck around that left side again. Beck's got open room. Beck's got across the 25, across the 30. Finally going to be brought down near the 37-yard line and another Steve Moore agency first down. Beck likes what he sees on that left side, and he's falling behind Pender doing some great blocking there. Five carries for 65 yards, <laughs> and that was Metzger with a tackle. Metzger it might be the fastest player on their team, and he was able to run down back. But uh, clock rolls with 6:50. You don't want to be Metzger to be too busy back there. Yeah. The handoff this time goes to Murphy. Murphy comes around the right side, and he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be second and ten. Nice play by Dallas Martin. They faked two back that time, handed off the second man around to Murphy. Manchester did a great job of staying home and didn't fall for that one. 
Right, and I mean that takes a lot of discipline when you when you had them go around the left side all night. So yeah, nice job. Bowers in the contest. He'll go to the top side of the offense. That sweep to Murphy has been very, very successful this year. That's the one time it's really been stopped. They actually did give him about a half a yard. We'll see what Rochester does here. They hand it off to Beck again. Beck on the left side. Here comes penalty marker in the middle of the field. That's probably coming back. I'm going to guess. In the hold area. We'll wait and see as the officiating crew talks it over. It's going to be short of the first down marker. But, uh, again, a flag thrown in the middle of the field. And it is against the Zebras. So Rochester will go backwards. Now behind the chains was second down and 15. Six minutes exactly here in the opening quarter. So now the Zebras will find themselves... And a long second down here. Don't have to get it all, but need to make it where a third down is more manageable. Second and 15. Bowers comes to the near side this time. Pollock up under center. Beck in motion. Beck up the middle. Beck falls forward, stumbles through, still on his feet. Beck across into Manchester territory. Finally going to be brought down about the 39-yard line. And another Steve Moore agency first down and a huge run for Brent Beck. 28 yards and they convert a second and 14. He kind of stumbled through the line there and I thought maybe he was going to lose his balance but did a great job Val of recomposing himself and staying on his feet. Six carries for 93 yards already for Brent Beck and we are barely halfway through the first quarter. I was going to say we still have 520 to go here in this opening quarter. Bowers comes to the near side. He's lined up at the 40 yard line. Pollock checks his line, makes sure everybody's set. Now up under center. Pollock looking to throw this time. Fakes it. Now double pumps. Goes to Bowers. Bowers complete into the red zone and down near the five-yard line. And that was almost like a baseball because you saw Beck and Bowers there in the same location. They both looked at each other, and Bowers must have called him off, said, I got it. And that's why they... Well, that, uh, I think that was supposed to be toward the sideline, and yeah. I think Drew just adjusted to the ball, just kept his eye on the ball. That was what a receiver he's become in such a short period of time as they gained 35. Big pickup for the Zebras as they go to the air. I, I don't I don't know that that was like a post pattern. It just turned into one. <laughs> <laughs> and like I said, Beck was right there. As I'm not sure what's going on. Is there a marker on the floor field? The officiating crew kind of talking to Coach Schaefer right now. It face, was. Face, face mask. mask. Yeah. Face mask after the play. And now the ball is sitting at the five-yard line. Coach Schaefer declines the penalty. It'll be first down, Zebras. Huge first down. Now down in the inside the five, so first and goal for the Zebras. I thought that was half, I thought that would be half the distance tacked on to the end of the play. But they, they declined they, it. They declined it. Yeah. Okay. So from just inside the five, Zebras will have it first and ten. Ethan Bailey in there to add some beef to that offensive line. Zebras break the huddle at 10. Coming quickly to the line. Beck, offset to the right this time. Goes in motion. They go around the left side, and Beck is in the end zone. Touchdown. 431 mark of the first quarter. Zebras find pay dirt with a five-yard run by Beck. Did that get him 100? 97. 97. All right. Back with yeah. the... Good vision, too, because yeah. uh, the kickout block, nice kickout block by shots, but he had to cut it inside and then, then made another cut inside and went in untouched. So here is the two-point conversion. Pollock. They give it to Beck. Beck trying to fight his way through, and he'll take the Zebras and the Squires with him into the end zone. Two-point conversion is good. Zebras lead... Eight to nothing with 4.31 to go here in the quarter. Back with more after this. Giant FM and RTC TV full. That Zebra scoring drive brought to you by Rochester Ford, home of the lifetime oil change. Val, how did the Zebras do it? Six plays, 81 yards, took 2.46 off the clock. Brant Beck with a four-yard touchdown run, and Brant Beck with a two-point conversion run. 
And Rochester leads Manchester 8 to nothing with 422 to go in the first quarter. So the Zebras lead 8 nothing. And now they'll kick off as Rainey will come in to kick off for Rochester. So back deep. I'm trying to find numbers. Those black jerseys with red numbers is kind of hard. Looks like it's 34, uh, Gertie. And maybe Rooney back. Metzger. Metzger, okay. Rooney, just a squib kick to the front line here at the 30. They take it and uh, try to bring it back to the 40. So they didn't go deep at all as that was Rooney there with the pickup. Cody Carroll for Manchester, number two, the return. So I don't think he was expecting that as he was standing at the 30-yard line, but the Zebras didn't want to go deep on that one. Yeah, again, uh, yeah, that, that, whatever whatever D Davis Rini does, it's not by accident. Right. Uh, he's 39-yard line. That's where both the both are, Yeah, Gertie and Metzger are the two fastest guys on their team. They pitch it back. That is to uh, Rooney. Rooney goes around the right side, and he picks up several yards that time on a nice lead block by Greer and looks like they're going to give him eight so it'll be second down and two now for the Squires again Zebras lead with 350 to go here in the opening quarter eight nothing at Manchester High School nice play call by coach Enyart there because they had tried to get Rooney up the middle and that just got jammed up a couple times so tried the sweep there and uh, got Rooney some space nice tackle by Bailey more up under center more Gives it off to Rooney. Rooney picks up the first down and a couple more. And now into zero territory as he gets across the 50 down to the 48-yard line. And it's a first down for the Squires. Again, that dive play, I mean, that's a staple of the their offense, of that, that midline offense. They want to they'll take six yards all night. And coming to the near side, here is Ben Brown. They fake the throw, and into the backfield, the Zebras almost had him. But Brown, or excuse me, Moore gets broken free, and he'll actually pick up about a yard. That's a tough yard for, for Mr. Moore. Yeah, and nice play by Susaraba. He was the guy who penetrated in there and yeah. almost got him, but uh, he held on long enough and got some help. So. Pickup of one, second and nine now with 2.50 to go here in this opening quarter. Now, Moore up under center. He's got a man split each way. Moore sends a man in motion, pitches it back, pitches out of uh, the reach of Gertie. Gertie kind of fumbled it around, and we'll see where they're going to mark it. Grant Clark has the ball, but uh, they're going to mark it down. Third down, and they mark it back at the 49-yard line of the Squires. So a huge loss that time. So now it's third and about 13. Yeah, that's just not what – I mean, not that that's ever a good play, but that's an especially bad time for that to happen if you're the Squires because now well, you're putting third and long, and you don't want more in third and long. He's not a passer. More. Fakes the pitch, now hands off to Gertie. Gertie has it, trying to come to this near side, but the Zebras do a great job of collapsing and staying home. He gets back just shy. They're actually going to mark him at the original line of scrimmage, so fourth and ten now, and it's like they're going to have to punt away. Yeah, the, the key I thought on that play was uh, Clarence Garrett. Um, he was the one who stayed home, and he held on. He didn't make the tackle, but he held on long enough and got some help from, yeah. Par from Parks and Beck. So coming in to punt will be number five, Cale Bennett. 5'11", senior for the Squires. Parks, Parks and Beck sounds like the name of a sitcom. Yeah. Here's a high snap. He does handle it well, gets it off, and it'll bounce past Parks. He'll let it roll, and it'll roll inside the 15, going to be down about the 12-yard line. And that's where the Zebras will take over. With a minute 12 to go, we do have a penalty marker, though, on that far sideline, so hold on. We'll wait and see what it, uh, this is about. As the It's kind of on the backside of the original line of scrimmage. So we'll see if it's against Rochester or Manchester. 
And it is against Manchester. Wouldn't she want Manchester to try this again? Or can they, can they just add five yards to the end of the play? That's why we're... They declined it. Okay. Zebras mm -hmm. declined the penalty. I don't know that referee had his arms going 14 different directions. I wasn't sure. Yeah, it was two men in motion. Okay. So the uh, Zebras will take it from the 12-yard line, first and 10. 1-12 to go here in the opening quarter. They lead, Zebras lead 8-0 on the Fulton County Solid Waste District scoreboard. Pollock up under center. Back goes in motion. Pollock rolls to his left, looking to throw. Tosses it out. It's going to be complete. That's going to be Murphy. Kai Murphy with a big catch, and the Zebras pick up 10 plus more. And another Steve Moore agency first down for the Zebras. We saw Kai catch one last week out in the flat. Yeah, um, that's been a pleasant surprise. Kai spent a lot of time in the weight. Talked with Kai after the game against Whitco. He spent a lot of time in the weight room over the summer, and he was really uh, bulked up and really, uh, really root for him, and, and really a team leader. He says, "I'm kind of the one who's the kind of the encourager on the on the team." Peru leads Wabash 13 to nothing in the first quarter. Here's a pitch back to Beck. Back around that left side. He's got a lead blocker, and he's got some room. Beck still on his feet. Finally going to be brought down across the 35. And be marked at the 36. So give him eight on the carry. Second and two now for Rochester. 23 seconds on the clock, and I'm guessing uh, Coach Schaefer will probably just let the clock run out and into the quarter. Eight carries for 105 yards already. Nope, they're going to try to go. They're going for it. We'll see as they try to get the off with 10 seconds. Game clock down to five. Pollock up under center. Pollock hands it to Beck. Beck around the right side. It's, nope, excuse me. That's Shots. Shots is tripped up as a defender fell down. It looked like Rooney fell down, and unfortunately Shots fell over him. But he does get the first down and more, and we'll end the first quarter. On the Fulton County Solid Waste District scoreboard, the Zebras lead after one, eight nothing here at Manchester High School. Giant FM and RTC TV4. At Manchester High Schools, we get ready to uh, start the second quarter. Again, at the end of one, it is 13 to nothing up Peru over Wabash at Wabash. Carroll leads Delphi six to nothing in the second quarter. The Bacon Bowl. The Bacon Bowl. I love the Bacon Bowl. Does the winner get bacon? I would imagine. <laughs> you get whatever part of the pig you want. <laughs> Zebras have it first and 10 from their own 40. Bowers split to the top side. Pollock up under center. Pollock sends Murphy in motion. Hand off. This time to Shots. Shots around the right side. Shots will pick up a couple. It'll bring up second and about eight now for the Zebras. That was number eight, Talon Selleck filling the hole for Manchester. Second and eight now for Rochester, again leading eight to nothing. Randy and Val, glad you could join us. The Zebras have been a little more careful running around the right perimeter because of Dallas Martin, number 10. He's a good looking player. He's Bowers he's, spread to the top. They fake it, now looking to throw. Out in the flat, that's to Beck. Beck with a catch, and he'll pick up a couple more, and it'll get back to the 45-yard line. So that would be a third down and five now. Zebra's mixing it up a little bit, putting Beck out there in the flat, throwing to him, trying to get him some yards after the catch. Yeah, and that was actually a pretty nice catch because there was a... I think Brand can hear some footsteps. He was able to keep his eye on the ball and haul it in and get a couple yards. Let's see if this is four down territory for the Zebras. Third and five. Bowers comes to the near side. Pollock up under center. Sends Beck in motion. The pitch is to Beck. He comes this near side on the left side. They stand him up. And Beck will fall forward for one. So it's going to be fourth and about three now for the Zebras. Gertie was there. And Landon Bean, number one. Ball sitting at the 47. They got to get to midfield. And the Zebras will go for it. Polly comes in. 
Clock down to 10 minutes, 20 seconds to go here in the first half. Again, we've seen Coach Schaefer enough. This is, I mean, this, is, surprise this me. is on brand. Here is Bowers, split to the near side. They hand it off to Beck. Beck's hitting the backfield. And a flag coming. And it would be a face mask. And it is a face mask. And that happened right in front, and the coaching staff of Manchester did not like it. And the funny, Gertie, Gertie was the one who grabbed the face mask. So now he might be hurt. Gertie is the one down, and it is a face mask call against the Squire, so that'll give an automatic first down to the Zebras. But more importantly, Gertie on the floor, on the field right now, down for the Squires. Injury timeout brought to you by Pulaski Memorial Hospital. Boy, Brand, Brand Beck is a strong kid. Yeah, I mean, Birdie, Gertie will come out as the training staff goes out to check on him. They'll bring him to the sideline and check him out. But after the penalty, Zebras will have an automatic first down and the ball sitting at the 47 yard line of the Squires now. 10 minutes, eight seconds or so here on the clock. How about 10 minutes even? The goalpost is right in my way of that last number. <laughs> okay, I'm it glad was, I'm not. It was a quick guess for me. So I don't need to go to the eye doctor. That's no, <laughs> I it was like, it's a quick guess for, for yeah. me on that last number. Bowers split to the top. Pollock up under center, sends Murphy in motion. The handoff, faked, rolls to the right. He's got pressure, rolls it out, throws it to Beck. Beck with a complete catch and first down and more as he bounces off of his defender and gets it down now to the 28-yard line, or 32-yard line, excuse me. Beck with adding up more yards. He not only can he rush it, he can run it after he catches. Two, catch, two catches for 17 yards for Brant in addition to the 108 yards rushing. They're put, look like Manchester put nine in the box. Yeah. They're, they're, they almost dared Pollock to throw. So Coach Shaver said, okay, Bowers, we'll, take, we'll take you up on your offer. Bowers comes to this side. He's at the numbers. Now they pitch back. Here's Beck. Beck behind a big man. He's got room in the side. He hits the sideline. Beck still on his feet. Finally going to be knocked out of bounds at about the – they're going to mark him at the seven. The official throws his bean bag at the seven-yard line, so another Steve Moore agency first down. But the Zebras inside the red zone brought to you by Rochester Glass. And now first and goal from the seven. I'm not sure I've said this sentence this year. That was a nice block by Drew Bowers. Bowers did with, he, a, with a nice lead he, there. Because the key isn't necessarily you don't have to pancake your guy. You just have right. to sustain your block. And he did a nice job there. Also doing a nice job for the Zebras on that lead was uh, 56, Mason Heisey. Oh, yeah, yeah. In fact, Heisey was looking for another yeah. guy to block. Pollock up under center. Pollock fakes the handoff. Now gives it off to... Uh, that is Meadows. Meadows will get to yard pickup. It looks like you're going to mark him about the six. But uh, he had a host of <laughs> Manchester Squires. He was toting around there for a minute. Trent Meadows' first carry of the night. Again, Coach Schaefer getting some different kids in. We've seen Kale shots already. We've seen Murphy. Now we've seen Meadows uh, just doing a great job of mixing it up. We've seen him throw to Beck. We've seen him throw to Murphy. So Zebra's offense mixing some things up here tonight. Meadows still in there along with Shots. Also in there now Trevor Wally. Pollock up under center. Pollock gives it off to Meadows. Meadows pushes forward into the end zone. Touchdown. 8.07. In the second quarter. Meadows follows right behind the line and gets a seven-yard touchdown run. 14 to nothing now. Zebras lead, and they'll go for two here. That was very similar to a play in which Rochester scored against uh, Tippecanoe Valley a couple weeks ago. And that was just Heisey and Pinder just... Pulling their way through. Yeah, and just push, pushing the defense and Trent Meadows keeping those feet moving. So the Zebras will go for the two-point conversion. They hand it off to, uh, uh, that is Wally around the right side, and Wally is good for the two-point conversion. And with that, 
The 807 mark at 16 to nothing. Zebras lead here in the second quarter. Back with more from Manchester High School. Giant FM and RTC TV. High School, that Rochester Ford scoring drive. Now, 11 plays, 88 yards, took 505 off the clock. Trent Meadows with a five yard touchdown run. Trevor Wally with a two point conversion run. And Rochester leads Manchester 16 to nothing with 8.07 to go in the first half. And Reaney will be on for the kickoff brought to you by Odell Lumber, your locally owned building supplier. That's Odell Lumber, State Road 14 East in Rochester. Check out their showroom. So here's Reaney to kick deep, but uh, we know last time he did not, so we'll see what he does this time, trying to keep the Squires on their toes. This one's another little pooch kick over the 30 this time. Going to be hit and bounce right between the defender's legs or the receiver's legs. Great downfield coverage by Rochester and nowhere to go. And they get him back to the 21. And that's where the Squires will take over first and 10. That ball took kind of like a funny hop. It took like a sideways yeah. hop. Kind of like it kind of checked up a little bit. And then it kind of died. And all of a sudden. Is that what you do with your golf swing on the green? You just check it up like that? Yeah. If I'm lucky. Speaking I'm of really golf, we'll, we'll talk about some girls golf coming up at halftime. So I hope you'll stay with us as that. We'll also talk about the rest of the Zebra sports going on this week. We had Cal Stone in this morning. Got to talk to him. And very excited, Cal Stone, about the success the Zebras are showing. Winnemac leading Culver 22-8 to eight in the first quarter. Here's Manchester right back up the middle. And that'll pick up a yard or two. And that appears to be Rooney. Rooney picks up two, so second and eight. 7.44 to go here in this first half. 16 to nothing. Zebras lead it on the Fulton County Solid Waste District scoreboard. And this is where you wanted Manchester. Uh, again, Manchester, they wanted to keep it close, dominate time of possession. Martin now the quarterback. Dallas Martin up okay. under center. Martin hands it off up the middle, and that goes forward for about a yard. As they undo the pile, we'll see who that was. That was Rooney. Is that Rooney again? Yep. Rooney, Mason Rooney, picks up another yard. It'll be third down and seven. Dallas Martin, the 6'5", 220-pound junior. The third string quarterback, you could say, as... Starting quarterback out. Rex Moore started tonight's game. Now they have changed. Twins to the near side. That is Bean and Metzger looking to throw. He throws it up. It's tipped at the line, and it's nope, hit the ground first. Deflected and almost picked off. That was Grant Clark who got in there and I think got a fingertip yep. on it. Ethan Bailey tried to dive for it, but just couldn't quite get it in time as it hit the ground first. So the Squires will have to punt away fourth and seven. Still on the sideline for the Squires is Reese Gerdy. Still looking at the, uh, he's with the, the training staff still on the sidelines. So, you know, Rochester beat Manchester 50 to nothing last year, and you're kind of wondering. Not a great punt. It rolls and takes a nice roll for the Squires. It'll go out of bounds, and the Zebras will have it first and 10 from the 43 yard line. Now, that looked like my golf. That looked like a golf swing of mine. Yeah. Off to the right. <laughs> yeah, off to the right, and he gains 32 yards on it somehow. It was looking for the uh, weeds or the, or the uh, pond, either yeah. one, right? That's my golf game, too. I understand. 6.26 to go here in the opening quarter. Zebras lead at 16 to nothing as they get the ball back after a three and out by the Squires. I was going to say, Rochester beat Manchester 50 to nothing last year. It was 50 to nothing at halftime. And you, if you're Manchester, what are, you, are your kids who maybe played in that game, are, are they hungry to get revenge or are they, are they a little intimidated? You just don't know how kids are going to react. So here is... Pollock looking to roll to the right. He's got Murphy open. He wants to go to Beck. He overlooked Murphy. Murphy was wide open and tried to thread a needle to Beck and Bowers, but neither one of them was that open. Pass goes incomplete. Sellick, 
So it'll be second and 10 now for the Zebras. Still 13 to nothing with 6.17 left at Wabash and Peru. Here's the Zebras now, second and 10. Here's Pollock up under center. He's got Bauer split to the top side. They go back up the middle to Shots. Shots gets it across the 45 down near the 46. So give him a four yard pickup. It'll be third down and six. Nice job of bottling up the trap there. Four yard gain for shots. Clock rolls with six minutes to go here before halftime. Again, coming up at halftime, we'll review the first half. We'll talk about zebra athletics. And who knows what else we're talking about as it's homecoming here at Manchester High School. So we get a little extra time. Whenever we come here, it's always homecoming. It is, it is. We've, I've been to more Manchester homecoming ceremonies than any other non-alumni I think we ever. Pollock is going to be into the back, and he's going to be sacked. Boy, big pressure that time put on by the Squires. That was 44 Thomas Rodriguez who got in there in a hurry. So the Zebras will look to punt it away here at 4th and 12 after that loss. 16 nothing Zebras lead. So a big fourth down for the Rochester Zebras. So Pollock will punt it away. Again, Pollock the punter for Rochester as well. Looking like they're going to take the penalty. They're going to take the timeout. I think Rochester nope. had like 10, 10 players on the field, maybe. So the Zebras will take a timeout with 4.47 to go here before the first half ends. And they take a timeout. We'll take one as well. You're listening to Zebra Football, China FM, and RTC TV4. At Manchester High School after the Zebra timeout, it'll be fourth down and 12. Pollock is on to punt. Pioneer leads cast in 21 to six late in the first quarter. Pollock will stand at his 28 yard line and there's a jump. And that's gonna be on Clarence Carter, or Clarence Garrett. So the Zebras will go back five more now. So that'll give Manchester a chance at better field possession after they mark off the five yard penalty. So the ball will be put at the 41-yard line. Oh, that's where it was. Now they'll mark it off. The official forgot to move it. <laughs> so now it'll go back to the 36. So with 4.47 to go, Pollock will try it again. He just picked it up and put it down, yeah. and the other ref said, no, you got to move it back five. Yeah, you got to go five. So here is the punt from Pollock. Gets it off. Goes to the far sideline. Takes an end-over-end kick, and it'll roll... And it looks like it'll come stopped at the 30-yard line, and that's where the Squires will take over first and 10 for their next possession. Shepard Chevy GMC of Rochester, where they always treat you like family. Fulton County REMC, making it better tom tomorrow since 1936. Smith Farm Store, serving farm and home since 1971. All proud supporters of Zebra Athletics here on Giant FM. You just get a feeling that this is a really key time of the game. Uh, if Manchester can get a score and then they get the ball to start the second half. Steve's got jokes. Yeah. yeah. So, the, yeah, Manchester does get the ball to start. So this is a, a big possession. Cut to 16-7, 16-8. Here is Moore up under center. Or Martin, excuse me, that's Dallas Martin. Goes back up the middle to Rooney. And Rooney will pick up about three. It'll be second down and seven. Clock rolls with 420 to go here before halftime. So again, we go from 5-6 to 6-5 quarterback. So Lewis Cass leads Northwestern 21 to 14. And that's at Northwestern. So that's a big battle in the TRC. The receivers will be at Lewis Cass next Friday. Here is Dallas Martin looking back to throw. He unleashes it's going up, and it's going to be completed. And Metzger with the catch, but a great defense effort 
by the Zebras, and Maddox Jewell was right there. He tried to bring it down, but he could not get it. But a big play for the Squires as now they have it at the 35-yard line. Gain of 32 yards. Big, big throw by the junior quarterback in Dallas Martin. Yeah, I'm curious to know what Coach Enyard knows about Dallas Martin as a quarterback. <laughs> Up under center is Martin again. Sends Bean in motion. Pitches to Bean. The ball's loose. And let's see who gets it. And it looks like Manchester did recover, and recovering was Ho Jose Cortes. And they refumble right back at the original line of scrimmage. Just looked like a drop. Looked like the pitch was pretty good. So it'll be second down and 10 now for the Squires into Zebra territory at the 35-yard line. Bean just kind of dropped it. Split man each way. Here's Martin up under center. The ball's fumbled again, and they'll fall on it. At about a yard loss this time, though, to bring up third and 11, or fourth and 11. I guess it is third down. So when you have a new quarterback in the center that haven't, I mean, Dallas Martin, just a, a new quarterback here this yeah. week. Yeah. Uh, obviously, probably didn't get a lot of Is he, did he play in middle, Did he play in middle school? Yeah. He... So a man split each way. It'll be third and 11 now for the Squires. Yeah. Dallas looking to throw it. He unleashes it. It's an awkward-looking throw, and it's going to come up short of the defender and of the receiver, and it'll bring up fourth and long now for the Squires. Metzger was the intended receiver, but that was... I think Martin kind of felt the heat yeah, a little bit. He did, and didn't really get squared up and get set. He kind of tried to throw it uh, from an awkward angle. I think this is four down territory for Coach Enyard, down by 16. And they will stay out there. Here comes Garrett back in. Also coming in will be Selick for the Squires. Fourth and 11, 2.25 to go here in the first half. Boy, Susarab has been out there almost the whole game at defensive tackle. Giving yeah. Kellen, Kellen Fervent hasn't played much defense. Goes in motion. Now Dallas rolls, and it's going to be complete out to Rooney. Rooney is not going to get enough for the first down, or is he? I Ooh, think he they did. They do. They give him just enough for the first down. Needed 11. They give him 12. Big pickup for the Squires. Hard pitch. back to his right. Fired down there on the money to... Rooney. Big run, big run out of there by Dallas Martin and had it to Rooney. Fired to strike. And now a two minute mark here in the first half. Fakes the handoff. Martin will keep it this time. Martin around the right side, lowers his head. And he's going to be down inside the 20 to about the 15. So a big seven yard pickup for the Squires. It'll be second down and three. Squires all of a sudden here, this uh, possession has found some positive things happening. Yeah, and again, you know, you fake the midline, and that allows the quarterback on the veer to make something happen. Uh, might have been a missed assignment there by the Zebras. Well, Dallas Martin is listed as a halfback, so he's not afraid to run the ball. Martin up under center. Martin pitches it back to Rooney. Rooney tries to cut it back upfield, and... Here comes a flag from the back judge. As they're going to pick up the first down, or are they going to get more? Face mask against the Zebras. So we get a, another face mask call on the night. This one is against the Zebras. And now that'll take it half the distance to the goal line, I believe. as it'll put it first and goal. Parks was there. The tackle, I'm not sure he was the one who grabbed the face mask, though. So the ball will be placed at the six-yard line. So the first time Manchester's been inside 
the 10, and they've got a chance to cut this lead here with a minute 15 to go ninth, before halftime. Ninth, ninth play of the drive coming up. Here is Martin up under center. Martin rolls to his left, looking to throw. He throws it up the middle. Oh, and that's tipped and intercepted by the Zebras. Wow. How about Camden Susaraba in his first game of the season with an interception after his tip by Xavier Vance? Wow. Great defensive move there as Vance just got his hand in the air. And Martin tried to go around the arm. And it went up in the air. And Sousa Roscoe with a big pickup. Zebras with a big goal line stance. Take it back to the 14 now. So the Zebras will have a minute and nine seconds to see what they can do here before halftime. Bauer split to this near side. Pollock up under center. Two timeouts left for Rochester. Murphy goes in motion. They fake it to him. Now a pressure. Pollock is going to be thrown down inside the five. As big pressure that time. And that came from Nick Cave, 6'7", 310-pound senior. Threw Pollock around like a rag doll. Yeah, Nick Cave was a bad C there. So now I'm going to guess the Zebras are just going to try to run the clock out and not give up any more damage here deep in their own territory. Clock rolls with 35. Sixteen to nothing. Manchester will have the ball to start the second half. Pollock up under center. As Bauer split to this near side, they run it right up the middle, and that is Beck, I believe. Maybe shots. Shots up the middle, runs it, and that'll do it for the first half. Zebras will take a 16-point lead into halftime. They lead it 16-0 on the Fulton County Solid Way scoreboard. We come back, we'll have the halftime show. We'll talk about the first half and preview some other scores from around the area. Talk about Zebra athletics in general. Back with more at halftime. Zebras lead it 16-0. Giant FM and RTC TV4. As we'll see what Rochester does, they really haven't kicked deep to either one of them yet. And Rini will kick it short again. It'll be taken at the 30. And that'll come to the near sidelines and knocked out of bounds. And that was number six. And that's going to be uh, Bryson Inert. Freshman returning that one. He will be marked out of bounds at the 41-yard line. And that's where Manchester will have it. First and 10, their first possession of the second half. Zach Parks with the tackle. We have a score update. Big game in the CIC tonight. Alexandria leads Eastbrook 21 to 14 at halftime. Ooh. Remember, Alexandria's undefeated, and they're both of those teams are in Rochester sectional. All right, so it looks like we're going to go back with uh, Moore this time in the quarterback, and he's going to keep it. He'll run around the right side, and he'll get a near the first down marker. It looks like. We'll see where the far judge puts him, and he's going to put him just shy. It's going to be second and inches. Nine and three-quarters yard pickup that time. <laughs> As Rex Moore back up under center. Curious to know what kind of adjustments there um, to put Moore back in, and Moore a lot more success on that carry than he did in the first half. They go right back up the middle, and it looks like he'll have enough for the first down as they give him forward progress. So a Manchester Squire first down here to start early in the third quarter. That was Rooney. Good first Squire. First down. So the Squires have their first first down, and they're into zebra territory already here in the second half sitting at the 48-yard line of Rochester. Clock rolls with 11.15 to go in the third. 16-0, Zebras lead it on the Fulton County Solid Waste District scoreboard. Here's Moore up again, up under center. Moore pitches it back out. Moore gives it off to, that is uh, Zach, or Garrett, Reese Garrett. I don't think he looked injured on that yeah, one. Yeah, Gertie looked good there. Gertie with a big pickup into deep into Zebra territory and another first down for the Squires. As Moore held that maybe a little bit longer that time and then with a big pitch 
Out to Garrett, or Garrity. Garrity. So first and 10 now from the uh, 34. Garrity only had seven yards rushing the entire first half. He got 14 on that play. So here they pitch back again. This one's going to the right side. They cut it back up the middle. And that was Greer. Maddox Greer, a 5'9 sophomore. Yeah, Zebra's got penetration there. Greer tried to cut it back, and Zach Parks met him for the tackle. Two yard pickup. It'll be second down and eight. Here comes Moore up under center. Moore splits out a man to this side, man to the top. Keeps it himself. Zebra's in the backfield. Susaraba. And big, big stop that time for Susaraba as he comes around the near side. And no gain on that one for more. It'll be third down and eight. And Coach Schaefer talked a lot about trying to build depth on that offensive and defensive yeah. lines. We've seen Liam, Pen Liam Pender on the offensive line, and now we're seeing Camden Susaraba having a big impact. He had that interception in the first half. It's been around the ball a lot. Third and eight from the Zebra 32. Here's Manchester. Dropping back. Moore looking to throw. He's got pressure, and he is going to be down. He, he kind of just slipped as well, coming he, on the right side of pressure. He tried to duck under Grant Clark, yeah. and Grant Clark uh, got him. Not maybe, the, maybe a form tackle by Grant Clark, but he... <laughs> But that's huge because it puts it back at the 39-yard uh, line and fourth and uh, probably 15 or so here. What do you do if you are Coach Anyard? This is not an easy decision. Looks like he's going to punt it. You're down, by, you're down by 16. As he brings in Cale Bennett. And you're inside the opponent's 40-yard line. Wow. Bennett from the 50. Gets it off. Line drive punt. And Parks will pick it up at the... Eight yard line and yeah, nice, nice play it. by nice play by Parks. I yeah. know that doesn't look it doesn't look sexy, but that was a nice play. Yeah, because if he lets it go, I don't know if it would have made the end zone. He saved maybe yeah. at least five yards and maybe ten. So the zebras will get it at the twelve yard line of their own with eight forty five to go here in the third first possession of the zebras here in this third quarter. We'll see what changes and adaptions the zebras have made on offense. So Pollock up under center. 16 to nothing. Zebras lead it. Pollock sends Beck in motion. Beck gets it around the left side. Beck. And plenty of room on that left side. And they finally get him out of bounds near the chain marker. Looks like it's going to be second and about two probably. Maybe one. Yeah, they're going to give him nine. It's second and one. That Beck. was uh, Cortez on the tackle. Beck doing a good job of pushing that outside, trying to turn it upfield. Got nine out of it. And here is Pollock up under center. Beck goes in motion, gets the pitch. Beck, left side, tries to cut it back up, and he's going nowhere that time. Squires stayed at home, and Beck actually will lose. It looks like they're going to give him a two-yard loss. It'll be third down and three. Clock continues to roll. 8.15 to go here in this third quarter. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here tonight. Manchester High School. I want to thank Tyson Silvius, the AD here at Manchester. Great hospitality. So third and three now for the Zebras. Pollock up under center. Boy, they're really pinching in at the ends. Pollock will give it to Murphy. Murphy around the right side. Kai Murphy will pick up the first down. Needed three, and he got four. And another Steve Moore agency first down for the Zebras. Just a little bit of a counter there, and a nice run by Kai Murphy. So, 7.45, first down for the Zebras. He got a good five yards there, and that was... So now the ball just shy of the 25-yard line. Again, I'm sure if you're Manchester thinking Brand Beck's going to get the ball somehow. So 
Here is Pollock up under center. Movement, yep. I saw I saw a head bob on that left side of the zebras. So that'll be first and fifteen now. It's never good when you see the head bob up uh, above the line before the, the ball gets snapped. For the most part, penalties have not been a huge problem in this game. So I'm going to move it back to the 19, and the Zebras will have it first and 15. And Manchester really crowding the line of scrimmage. Yeah, they are. Um, Drew Bauer is the, catching that deep pass. That that didn't scare him away. Their, their, their linebackers are almost breathing on the defensive linemen as well. I mean, they're, they are right on top. Pollock. Hands it off to Murphy as he was in motion. Murphy has open room. Murphy at the 40. Murphy at midfield, the 50. Now at the Manchester 40, going to be brought down at the 36, 37-yard line. Great run by Murphy. Cut that outside, and he had green grass in front of him. A gain of 44 yards on that play, and nice little ball handling by Pollock, too. Was kind of sneaky with how he gave it, and... Nice job by Murphy. He saw the defense was coming after him, so he secured that ball as soon as he got tackled. What a big run by Kai Murphy. Into Manchester territory now at the 37. Pollock up under center. It's under seven to go here in the third quarter. Murphy in motion again. He gets the pitch. Murphy around the right side this time. He'll bull forward. And he's going to be down near the 30. They're going to mark him at about the 32-yard line. Give him five. It'll be second down and five. Again, if you're new to Rochester football and you haven't maybe watched many games this year, it's not common for Rochester to pitch play where the quarterback has to help as a lead blocker. It's crazy, <laughs> but they do it all the time. So now the Zebras will have it up under center. Second and five, good time to throw a pass. And here comes penalty against Manchester this time, and that should be a free first down for the Zebras. Well, Rodriguez, I'm, I don't know if that was the cadence or what, but let's see if that's a first down. It's close. If it, if it isn't a first down, it's close, so it is a first down. And that'll be another Zebra first down. So 6.16 to go here in this quarter. Zebra still lead 16 to nothing. I mean, they again, I, I can't emphasize this enough. The safety is really not even a safety. He's a linebacker yeah. for Manchester. I mean, they're, they're just playing right on top of the line. Yeah, everybody's within five yards. It's like, it's like a cover zero. So here is... Pollock up under center. Pitch back goes to Beck. Beck cuts it up the middle. Beck across the 25. Now down near the 20. So Beck with about a where they see where they mark it. Give him five. It'll be second and five now for the Zebras. Nice job by Heisey and Gardner, kind of creating a little bit of an alley for Beck to get through there. Peru Tigers over Wabash, 27 to nothing, halfway through the third quarter. 16 to nothing here with five and a half to go in the third. Zebras are moving the ball. Next home game for the Zebras is against Peru in it two is. weeks. Murphy goes in motion, fakes the pitch to him. Now they give it to Beck. Nope. That, that shots. was shots. Yeah. Have, sorry, shots. It kind of shots. It kind of looked like a like half of a trap and half of a belly. <laughs> A half and a half? Yeah. Enough for another Steve Moore agency first down. But, again, they're so worried about Beck uh, going in that motion. Well, that, they, uh, they got a, a big dose of Beck in that first half, and so rightly so. They're, they're concerned where he's at, and Murphy and Schatz taking advantage of that right now. Here is Pollock, first and 10 from the 15. Beck gets it this time around the left side, cuts it back up, falls forward, going to be down near the 10-yard line. Zebras inside the Rochester Glass red zone. Now at the 10. Ooh, Mason Heisey just hammered somebody on the block, and that was a nice play by the Rooney kid because he, he fought through the traffic and he got there. That was a nice play by Rooney to make the tackle. Four-yard pickup at second and six. Zebras. Come set to the line at the 10-yard line of the Squires. 
Play clock down to 15. Pollock up under center. Murphy goes in motion. He gets the pitch. He gets the call right back up the middle. Murphy still on his feet. He's going to be down near the five-yard line. They might even give him to the four on forward progress, and that's going to be another Steve Moore agency first down, first and goal for the Zebras from the four. Zebras running with authority this time around, hitting the hole hard. 63 yards on just five carries for Kai Murphy. Great night for the That's senior. Um, 12 and a half yards a carry. That'll get it done. First and goal from the four. Pollock up under center. Beck goes in motion, gets the pitch. Left side, cuts it back open. He'll take a tumble over a defender and get it down to about the one. It'll be second and goal from the one now. I don't know if that was Rodriguez who kind of upended him or at least filled the hole. 3.45 to go into third. Zebra's threatening here. First or second and goal from the one. Pollock will break the huddle with 20 seconds to go in the play clock. Murphy shots and Beck in the backfield. Pollock up under center. Murphy gets it this time. Murphy falls forward and they're going to say no. Stacked him up. Didn't well, get a real good start on that one. It kind of they brought the big boy in uh, on defense, Miller. He and they stood him up. That was not a touchdown. Stopped him at the one again. Back to the line of scrimmage. So third and goal from the one. If you're a zebra fan, you got to get this in. This goes back to and Coach Schaefer. I think he's going to call ago. time. Coach Schaefer is going to call timeout here. He is going to call and, timeout. Uh, yeah. 2.52 to go to third. Zebras lead at 16 to nothing. Knocking on the door. Back with more Giant FM on RTC TV4. Chester High School after the Zebra timeout. They'll have it third down and goal from the one. Elwood and Blackford 0-0 at halftime. Okay. Those are two sectional opponents of the Zebras. North Judson leads North Miami 28 to nothing in the second quarter. Oh, boy. Yeah. North Miami getting sent back to reality tonight. Big play here, third and goal. Third and goal the for one. the Zebras. Pollock up under center. Beck, Murphy, and Shots again in the backfield. Shots gets it this time. He's hit in the backfield. Going nowhere. Forward progress of giving to about the one and a half. A little bit of a loss. Forward progress. They're going to give him back to about the one and a half. So Zebras will have it now. Fourth and goal. Well, it almost seems like they've been playing almost like a goal line defense the entire game. So yeah. what's you know? I don't think Manchester has to make a lot of adjustments, but it's Zebras talking about what they want to do. The coaching staff on the far sideline, and I'm going to guess they're going to take another timeout. They are. Zebras take their second time out of the quarter. Fourth and goal from the one and a half with 2.08 to go here in the third. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4. Manchester High School. Zebras call their second time out in this possession as the coaching staff and the offense talks it over. What play do you call here at fourth and goal, Val? We were just talking off the air. If you're a Zebra fan, it reminds you back a couple weeks ago against the Tippy Valley where the tide turned after a fourth and goal stop by the Vikings. Well, what play has been your most successful play all night? Sweep left with Brand Beck. That would be my guess. Murphy. Beck is now in the fullback position. And a double, Meadows in there. Double tight end left. Meadows goes. The pitch to Beck. Beck turns around the left side. Touchdown. Yep. 2.05. Go to the left side with that double tight end. Beck with a yard. Give him one or two. I'll give him one. One. A one yard run for Beck. And the Zebras will go for two here. 22 nothing with 2.05 to go here in the third. Double tight end, and then they put the motion yeah, man that to way the left, well. too. So they had, that was a real strong side run, yeah. So they'll go for it for the two-point conversion. Pollock up under center. Murphy goes in motion. 
They faked it back. Now out in the flat, they throw it, and the two-point conversion is good. And it like that, it is now 24 to nothing. Zebras lead. Back more after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Drive. It took six minutes and 41 seconds off the clock. Brant Beck with a one-yard touchdown run. And uh, Trenton Meadows with a two-point conversion reception from Carson Pollock. And Rochester leads 24 to nothing over Manchester with 2.05 to go in the third quarter. Here on the Fulton County Solid Waste District scoreboard. 24-0. Zebra says Rainey gets ready to kick off. Pioneer leads Caston 49-7. to Going to be an end-over-end kick. Going to be kicked and takes a hop towards the middle of the field. Picked up in the backfield. That is by number 24, uh, Eli Metzger. Metzger, though, runs it the wrong way. Drew Bowers and Kai Murphy, I think, were both there. And so the Metzger's got to be wondering what the how the heck the ball is bouncing these days. Then another took another funny hop. Look, it was headed out of bounds, and then took a three three hops toward the middle of the field. 23 yard line for the Squires as well. They'll have it first in 10 with just under two minutes to go here in this third quarter, trailing 24 to nothing. Halftime score: Knox leads Tippecanoe Valley 14 to three. So they have twins in the near side, single set to the top. Still under center is Moore, and they go forward with it. Moore keeps it himself, and he'll get a yard pickup. It'll be second and nine. And now we have an injured player, Squire, on the floor, or on the ground. At Manchester, after the injury timeout, they'll bring... Rex Moore to the sidelines, limping on that left leg. Here is Dallas Martin. Martin will keep it. Now he pitches at the last minute. He's got an open man in the backfield. And Gertie will pick up another Squire first down. A little option football there for the Squires. Yeah, if Manchester's going to get back in this game, Gertie's going to have to make some big plays uh, on the perimeter. He's just he's just a good-looking athlete, yeah. and you know Metz, Metzger is a guy who's going to have to touch the ball too somehow. But he's again, uh, and we'll see if Martin tries to hook up with him. But again, Metzger's not a running back; Gertie is. Martin up under center keeps it. Options again out, pitches it in the backfield, and that is again to Gertie. Gertie will pick up five, and it'll bring up second and five now. 45 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. Zebra's up 24 to nothing. As Dallas Martin will get the play from the sideline. Probably the last play of the quarter. Down to 28 seconds. So out of the twin set to the top. Now a man goes in motion. They pitch it back. That's Gertie again. Gertie around the right side, and he'll pick up the first down. He'll get six. That was Rooney. Oh, Rooney? Okay. Yeah, and that was that was a nicely designed play because you put Greer in motion, but he wound up acting as like a lead blocker. and Picked up six, needed five, so it's another first down for the Squires just shy of midfield, and that's going to do it for the quarter. At the end of three complete on the Fulton County Solid Waste District scoreboard, Zebras lead at 24 to nothing. Fourth and final quarter on the way here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. After high schools, we get ready to head to the fourth and final quarter. Scoring update, 34 to eight. Uh, to, uh, Peru over Wabash with uh, just under six minutes left in the game. Wabash Trail Lewis, North, excuse me, Northwestern Trail Lewis cast 28-14 after the first quarter. Northwestern now leads 41-28 in the third quarter. Holy cow. LaVille leads Bremen 7-6 end of the third quarter. Here, 24 to nothing as we start the fourth quarter. Win It'll be Manchester football. Winamax still leads Culver, but Culver's getting back in. It's 22-14 midway through the third. So from the 48-yard line, first and 10 for the Squires. Dallas keeps it. Dallas Martin around the left side, and he'll fall forward for about a four-yard 
three or four yard pickup. Let's see, give him three, second and seven. Stayed on the ground, so the clock will roll. The clock is not in the Squires' favor right now. It's in the Zebra favor, leading 24 to nothing. We'll come out of the huddle with 20 on the play clock. Again, we're we're just guessing what Dallas, how much of the playbook Dallas Martin knows, right. how much quarterback he's played in his past, but it's looked pretty nice so far. Martin keeps it, pitches it back, pitches fumbled, it's loose on the ground, and I believe Manchester picked it up. They did, but unfortunately, that's going to put it back into. Uh, Squire territory at the 46-yard line. Selleck recovered the fumble, uh, but they do lose five. And that's about what the second or third pitch that yeah. Martin has made that's hit the ground. Third and about 12 now. But so. Again, you have to think that Metzger is going to have to make a big catch here. I mean, that catch he, that catch he made earlier, that was about as impressive a catch yeah. as you'll see by a wide receiver in the TRC. So now we'll see if they go to the air. Twins in the near side. Twins up top. Ben here. Brown and split in. Martin. Nope, they pitch it back. And running it up the middle. That's Brown. And it's going to be right at the first down marker. We'll see. They do give him the first down. So now a big pickup as that is moved to the 42-yard line of the Zebras. Great play call by Coach Enyard. Everybody in the stadium was thinking pass. And yeah. Went with the sweep, and they get, yeah, they just do get the first down with about half a yard to spare, maybe. A lot of headwind there as he pitched it back and, to the halfback. And Drew, and Drew Bowers was there waiting yeah. for him, and Rooney just lowered his head and got that last half a yard that he needed. Big run for Rooney. Here's the dirty in motion. Fumbled again. Ball is picked up, I believe, this time by the Zebras. And they do recover. Big pickup. I believe that's going to be 75. Liam Pender with the fumble recovery yeah, for Rochester. Well, yeah, it was. Pender was in on their own defense. Yeah. And, or was that Van? Or was that, I couldn't tell if that was X or Pender. I think it was Pender, though. I think it was Pender. Yeah. Yeah. Pinder with a big pickup. So 9.55, the Zebras have an opportunity here to just take control and run the clock. From their 47-yard line, first and 10. Here is Pollock. Goes to throw it incomplete. Bowers, the intended receiver, as he ran the slant. I think uh, Pollock might have got rid of it just a fuzz early. Yeah, that was because Bowers got inside yeah. position on Metzger. If he would have yeah. caught that, it might have been gone. Uh, he I think instead, little, he tried to lay out for it. I think Manchester was expecting a run on first down <laughs> with the Zebras up by 24 points here in the fourth quarter. So good. the, the, the idea was an interesting idea, I think. Stops the clock at 9.51. Second and 10 now for the Zebras. Pollock up under center. Pollock. Looks to check off of it. Three on the play clock. Going to have to hurry. And does not get it. Delay a game on Rochester. Yep, did not get it. He checked it with three seconds to go and didn't quite get it back and get ready to go in time. So a five-yard penalty will put Zebras behind the chains at second and ten. Or second and 15. Not sure what was going on there. I thought I thought he was trying to get Man Manchester off sides, and then one Manchester kid bobbed his head, yeah, he but, bobbed, sta but he stayed. And then uh, all of a sudden, and again, I, I don't think Carson wants to use a timeout here. You bet. You only got well, one left. Yeah, you only have one left. Better just take the penalty. So second and 15 now. Pollock up under center. Bowers here to the near side. Murphy goes in motion. They fake. Now they give it to Beck. He's got green grass back up the middle. Man, and he's got a first down and more. Metzger with a tackle to save the touchdown. But a 32-yard line is where they finally bring back down, and that's another Steve Moore agency first down. A gain of 21 more yards for Brant Beck, and that is the counter run to perfection. Great run. Murphy faked it. 
And now the Zebras have it. Nope. Eight, 18 carries, 178 yards, two touchdowns for Brant Beck. So here is Pollock again on first down to throw. He throws it out in the flat. It's short. And I uh, am going to owe an apology to Xavier Vance as our camera guy sends a picture. It's Xavier. Yeah, Xavier with the fumble recovery. X had the fumble recovery. Yeah, okay. X had it. I thought I saw Pinder flip it to the... Well, I did too, but maybe he'd give okay. it to him. I don't know. All right. Steve, Steve sent the, the photo. Good job, X. Photos can't lie. Yeah. Great job by the cameraman. So second and ten after the incomplete pass. 9-16 to go in the contest. 24-0. Zebras lead it. Murphy in motion. They go to Shots. Shots up the middle. He's got green grass. Touchdown. Kale Shots. 32-yard touchdown run for Kale Shots. And that will probably do it for this game. You know, I think they... I think this little adjustment they made there, instead of running a straight trap, it was almost like a draw play there. Just stand, take the ball, and just pause for a second, wait for the defense to come up field, and all of a sudden yeah. they'd overrun the play, and all of a sudden it was green grass for Kale Schatz biggest, once he get past the line. Biggest touchdown run of the night belongs to Kale Schatz. And here, two-point conversion by the Zebras, leading 30 to nothing. Murphy in motion, the pitch to him. Murphy. Around the right side, he'll lower his head and no good. Two point conversion is waved off. So the Zebras will maintain a 30 to nothing lead as 9.09 to go here in the contest. Back with more after this. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. After high school, the Rochester Ford Exploring Drive for the Zebras. Four plays, 53 yards. Took just 46 seconds off the clock. Kale Shots with a 32-yard touchdown run. The two-point conversion run failed. Rochester leads Manchester 30 to nothing with 9.09 to go in the game. So Davis Rainey in to kick it off again on the Odell Lumber kickoff. Odell Lumber, your locally owned building supplier. So Davis Rainey ready to go. Gets the whistle from the official. Kick on the far sideline. Going to be taken by Rooney, I believe. Wrapped up, and Zebra's down with good coverage. Manchester gets it back to the 30. Maybe the 31. That's where they'll have it first and 10 with just over nine minutes to go here in this contest. Zebra's lead it 30 to nothing on the Fulton County solid way disc. Uh, solid Waste District scoreboard. Northwestern leads Lewis Cass 48 to 35. So Lewis Cass hanging in there. So here comes Dallas Martin. Martin brings two receivers split to this near side. Now he'll keep it himself. Almost stripped. He did a good job of hanging on to it, and he'll pick up five yards, and it'll be second and five now for the Squires. Well, you really hope that Wes Moore is not too badly hurt. Um, hes I know he's uh, part Ste of the Moore family of wrestlers here at Manchester. Uh, Sitting on the sideline over here up on the trainer's table. I mean, he might be, what, 5'6", 135, yeah. but he's got a lot of heart. So Martin will bring him up under center. Martin splits a man each way. And penalty markers fly. And that one will go against the Squires. And we'll move them back five yards, bring up second and 10. Well, Zebra's defense has bent a couple times tonight, but they haven't broken the big no. interception by Susaraba. Yeah. With X getting the, his hand on the ball, and then X with the fumble recovery that sets up another score. Huge, huge defensive plays. And then the big offensive play, getting that fourth and the goal from the one in really helped mentally, I think, for yeah. the Zebras. Yeah. 
So Dallas Martin will spin the man each way again up under center. Martin looking to throw this time. Out in the flat, oh. batted down again. Grant Clark almost had a pick six. Knocks it down. Bring up third and ten. And if you're Grant Clark, you would like to do have a do-over on that one. <laughs> I'm going to guess he might get an opportunity. Because with the Martin in there, he seemed to be throwing the ball, try to throw the ball a little bit more often. You can tell he's a good athlete. He's just yeah. a little raw out there. But boy, you know what? He here has been Susaraba. I think he's been out there the whole game on defense. Yeah. I'm not sure he's had much of a breather at all. And it's, boy, it's really key because then Callan Furvid only has to go one way. Pitch out goes around the left side. And that's going nowhere for the Squires. In fact, they're going to give him about a yard loss, maybe two even. Fourth and long now, and they'll have to punt it away. So Parks will go back and receive the punt. Into punt for the Squires will be number five, Cale Bennett. Bennett steps back to punt it away. Well, one thing, that, that pitch wasn't smooth either. No. Almost, there's the penalty marker coming from the side, or from the referee. And they're going to get roughing the kicker. Yeah, I. Yeah, that's, a pen, I mean, that's just a penalty. I mean, he. I, I think Meadows tried to hold up there, yeah. but he just, yeah. And that is, that's the definition of roughing the kicker. Scoring update from Wabash. It's Peru over Wabash at the end of three, 34 to eight. So the penalty will give an automatic first down to the Squires. So with 7.09 to go here in the fourth, the Zebras, instead of being able to maybe run the clock out, will give it back to the Squires. And there goes more to the locker room on the cart. <coughs> the pitch is to the back. And that is Rooney. He comes to the near side. He'll pick up two. Second down and eight. Ball's at the 46-yard line. So he'll have second and eight. Clock rolls with 6.40 to go. Man split each way. Martin up under center. Ball is up the middle, and that was a broken play. I'm not sure what happened. Rooney up the middle. Vance gets up slowly. It's been warm out yeah. tonight. It's been 80s. Game time temperature is probably what, low to mid 80s? Winds look like they've died down a little bit. Yeah. Third and eight with under six to go here. 30 nothing. Zebras lead it. They go up the middle, and the Zebras don't fall for that, and that's going to bring up fourth and long. Good defense on the trap, and that was X, I think, also got in there. Nope. Fumble. Recovered by the Zebras. Oh, X recovered the fumble, I believe. Is it X or Parks? We'll have to wait, we'll have to wait for Steve to tell us. <laughs> As he's looking hard at it down there. Either way, the Zebras get the fumble recovery. With 5.50 to go here in the fourth, 30 to nothing. And uh, Pollock will jot in from the sidelines. Again, the Zebras on the road again next Friday night as they travel to Lewis Cass. And here comes the Zebras with first and 10 from the 45-yard line. Final score, Mack wins at 62 to nothing. Here is the Zebras around the right side. That's Murphy still on his feet. 
turned nothing into something by keeping his feet churning. Picks up a yard or two. Yeah, McConaughey, 62 to nothing, <laughs> final. Yeah, I mean, I'm impressed by McConaughey's defense. Yeah. Um, if that's how the last two weeks they played some good defense, and that's... It was X with the recovery. So two fumble recoveries for X. Clock continues to roll, 5-10 to go here in this fourth. Bowers comes split to the near side. Pollock up under center. Beck shots and Murphy in the backfield. The handoff goes up the middle to shots. Shots will fall forward near the 40. And so it's third and about six now for Rochester. You know, we don't talk about trainers very often, but do you know who is serving as an athletic training intern for Manchester High School? That would be Catherine Hughes, Christina's oh, daughter. Okay. So we've got opposing Hughes as trainers tonight. <laughs> so I'm really happy for Catherine. She's decided to follow in the, uh, follow in the footsteps awesome. of, uh, of her family. So it's great. So here is Shots again up the middle. Shots has more room. Shots got green grass in front of him. Shots at the 10, the 5, going to be brought down at the 1 yard line. Ooh. Kale Shots with another big run up the gut. Kale just turning that extra speed on as he breaks through there. Metzger with another touchdown yeah. saving tackle. But uh, again, that was similar to the, basically the same play as the touchdown yeah. play in the last possession. So down to the one yard line, the Zebras will have it inside the Rochester Glass red zone. With under four to go, it's first and goal from the one. Again, I don't know if you call it just a, like a delayed trap or just a draw play, but that's really been effective. Everybody's in tight for the Zebras. Here's Pollock up under center. Pollock, the pitch into Beck. Beck is. Waiting on the signal. What are they waiting for? Touchdown. There it is. I was going to say, it looked like he was in from here. So, well, 335 mark. Ran back with a one yard run with his second touchdown of the night. And that gets us in running clock territory. It for does. Zebras will be three and one, and all three wins, the game ended with a running clock. So uh, Rini will kick a field goal this time, or the PAT, pardon me. So Davis Rini with a uh, PAT coming. And here they, they fake it. And Pollock keeps it and throws it into the end zone. No good. And I don't see any penalty markers. So the PAT was no good. So with that, it's 36 to nothing. Zebras lead it here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. Manchester High School, the Zebras get another score on the board. And how'd they do it, Val? It was a four-play, 44-yard drive. It took two minutes and 55 seconds off the clock. Brant Beck with a one-yard touchdown run. Two-point conversion attempt failed. Rochester leads Manchester 36 to nothing with 2.55 to go in the game. Scoring drive brought to you by Rochester Ford. Now, Greeny on the Odell Lumber kickoff. They'll take it at the 25-yard line, and the Squires will bring it back just across the 35 to about the 37, and they'll have it first and 10 from there with a running clock now down to 235 and counting. Warren Central defeats Warsaw tonight 34 to nothing. Again, a final at Mac, 62 to nothing. At last report, it was 34 to eight. Uh, Peru over Wabash at the end of the third quarter. 2-10 to go here in County. First and 10 now for the Squires. Metzger comes to the near side. Goes in motion. Now here is Dallas Martin. Will break free. Martin will run it down the sideline and finally going to be knocked out of bounds as he's into Zebra territory. And they knock him out finally at the Zebra 40. You definitely take a look at that on film and start to see some things here for the remainder of the Dallas Martin with a big run there out of the quarterback position. 
Yeah, and that was, again, I don't know if that, I think that was probably just a called play. And again, yeah. the Zebras having trouble containing. Uh, they need to keep Martin in the pocket. They need to keep all their opposing quarterbacks yeah. in the pocket. That was a big problem that Coach Schaefer cited last week. Martin again, up under center, sends Gertie in motion. Gertie gets the pitch around the left side, and he'll get back to the original line of scrimmage. And, and again, just another sloppy pitch. Yeah. I mean, uh, Gertie had to do almost a 180 to catch the pitch. Second and 10 with 60 seconds remaining and counting here in the contest. Again, Zebras will improve to 3-0 in the conference, 3-1 overall. So the and this was a Manchester team that scored 42 points last week. 36 nothing here with 40 seconds to go. And again, the injuries are an issue, but they also had some turnovers. Martin looks to throw. He tucks it instead. Martin around the left side, and you'll get uh, about four yard pickup. Nice read by Zach Parks to make the tackle there. And the Squires will have it with 20, and I'm going to guess they're going to try to get one more. We'll wait and see if they can. Clock is down to 12. Game clock down to 7. Squires at the line at 4. They get it off. Martin looks, drops the throw. Here comes pressure, and he throws it. It's going to be knocked incomplete, and that will do it. The final tonight. Nice job by Maddox Jewell to knock away that pass. 36 to nothing. And Val, before we let you leave and we go to a break, we got to pick the in your hardware value, true or in your hardware player of the game. And I'm going to guess who you're leading. The guy who set the tone was number 22, Brand Beck. Yeah. He was those big runs early in the game, and uh, again getting it in there on that fourth down play. That's, I mean. It, Brand Beck is becoming more and more of a leader now that he's a junior, and that was a special performance by him tonight. Player of the game, in your hardware player of the game, Brant Beck. We come back to the post game, brought to you by the Tire Store here on Giant FM. Again, the final 36 to nothing. Zebras win it here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. The next Squire football game is at Northfield on September 20th. The next home football contest is on September 27th for youth or junior high football and cheer night versus Southwood. Please come and support our team. Thank you for coming and supporting Manchester Squire Athletic. Please clean up your items in the bleachers and throw away any trash in the blue barrels. Be safe and drive carefully. Murphy in motion. They fake the handoff to Murphy. That goes. The, middle, the, ball's fumbled. the ball got fumbled. I didn't even see it. Val, did you? No. And picked up by Manchester. Made up under center. Back in motion. Back up the middle. Back falls forward. Stumbles through. Still on his feet. Back across into Manchester territory. Finally going to be quickly to the line. Back. Offset to the right this time. Goes in motion. They go around the left side, and Beck is in the end zone. So here is the two-point conversion. Pollock. They give it to Beck. Beck trying to fight his way through, and he'll take the Zebras and the Squires with Pollock up under center. Beck goes in motion. Pollock rolls to his left, looking to throw. Tosses it out. It's going to be complete. That's going to be Murphy. Pollock up under center, sends Murphy in motion. The handoff, faked, rolls to the right. He's got pressure, rolls it out, throws it to Beck. Beck with a complete catch and first down and more as he at the numbers. Now they pitch back. Here's Beck. Beck is carrying the ball, but I think the tempo started early when Brant Beck uh, in that first quarter just ran his lights out uh, early. Yeah, we were going to make sure that we established Brandt for sure. Um, you know, if we're going to make the move and put him a halfback, you're going to see the ball. And uh, so, you know, it was nice to give him the ball uh, a few times on the perimeter. And, and he runs tough in our power game, runs tough in our sweep game. And so, uh, you know, he just adds a dimension that's unreal. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, Kale shots, first time to touch the ball, he fumbles it. Just told him, hey, look, man, you got... 
we're going to let you block a few more times, and then we're going to rely on you to do something. And then real nice to see him bust a couple traps tonight um, and, and get out there and, and do what he does really well. So um, excited to see what he can do as, as he – progresses as a player but uh, i'm sure he's kicking himself about fumbling the ball down on that end because that's it's big you know we're getting ready to go in for the first drive first score and uh, you don't want to turn that ball over he ended up uh, unofficially val had him nine carries 91 yards and a touchdown that's not bad that's not bad <laughs> um you know and we you know nine carries we probably didn't give it to him enough um but you know we we thought the perimeter game was good enough we thought the passing game you know we, anytime we wanted to throw the ball we felt like we could um you know, maybe some protection issues, but when they got that many in the box, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of sometimes feast or famine. Right. Um, but we hit them on some key passes early in the game, softened them a little bit. Um, but, you know, they, they really never did stop, you know, our jet sweeps. Uh, rocket went really well. Um, and so, you know, uh, kind, of, kind of good good for the kids to see that. Uh, we had Beck, 19 carries, 179 yards, three touchdowns. Uh, Kai Murphy, seven carries, 64 yards. So, uh, you know, three of the bigs uh, with with some great carries and great yardage there. Yeah, you know, I probably Kai's big run and the key to kind of, I don't know if break their back a little bit, but to just show, you know, hey, we can run both sides is, you know, that, that nice jet that he had on this sideline um, towards the uh, first start of the first third quarter, I think our first drive. Yeah. And uh, really nice run by him. And, and he's not one that's necessarily going to take it to the house a lot of times. He's a long strider, but uh, really nice run and got us going. Let's talk about that fourth and goal, obviously. Uh, I'm sure some Zebra fans and maybe you guys even were flashing back to a couple weeks ago where you had a fourth and one. It's a mental thing now. I, I, you, you know, you called the timeout. You wanted to talk about it. I think that was probably a good call on that part to make sure you got that one in the end zone. Yeah, we want to make sure everybody is on the, the correct page. Plus, we took the extra time to talk as coaches. Uh, we didn't get real antsy about calling the timeout. Right. We used a lot of the time to talk. Uh, what's going to be our best formation, best option to run the ball and run it a certain way. And, um, you know, it was just, hey, let's put 22 back at fullback. Uh, we ran the fullback toss early in the game to start it and had a good good success with it, so we went right back to it and, and got the ball in. Double tights, and then you ran the, the motion man that way too, so you made sure you had uh, plenty of blockers out in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, bring Trenton in. He didn't get a whole lot of reps at, at halfback, but – you were asking to do a lot on defense tonight, and so um, you know that may the script may get flipped next week. You just <laughs> yeah. never know. Nope. Um, and we go with a hot hand, and and guys did really good good job with it. Let's talk about some uh, other guys. Uh, you know, playing uh, um, offense and defense line. Boy, those guys were were pretty aggressive tonight, and and made some great plays. Yeah, I'll tell you, our two de two defensive ends played really well. Um, you know, got pressure on the quarterback when they needed to. They shut down the fullback for them, which is, you know, what makes them, them tick really well. Right. And, um, you know, they couldn't get anything going with their veer game. And, uh, you know, really nice job. And then we started Camden Susaraba for his first game yeah. the, uh, ever, I think, um, as a varsity football player. And, um, you know, we got a lot out of him. We got, we got a little bit more out of X tonight. Um, but I think they were both wore out. I mean, it's tough. You're, you're in there. And it's two on three. Uh, I'm a lot, and then when they insert that fullback, now it's it's four on two, and so um, they did a really nice job tonight. X uh, picking up a couple uh, fumble recoveries, and so uh, uh, a great job there. Yeah, swallow those up. We we missed those opportunities early in the game. Got them here in the second half, and, and was able to widen the lead. Coach, we'll let you go enjoy this one. We'll talk tomorrow morning about uh, next week. All right, thanks, Randy. Thank you, Ron Schaefer of the Rochester Zebras here on the post game show again brought to you by the tire store here on giant fm again uh, we'll take a look at uh, your game summary brought to you by the manitow moose family fun center number 1107 come out and enjoy family fun now serving food on tuesdays and fridays well the scoring summary went like this in the first quarter the 422 mark a four yard run by uh, brant beck two point conversion was good eight nothing zebras 807 in the second. It was a Meadows seven yard run to put the Zebras up with the Wally two point conversion, 16 to nothing. Halftime went 16 0. Third quarter, 205. Beck with another one yard run. Pollock to Meadows two point conversion was good, 24 to nothing. Then in the fourth quarter, Zebras put two more scores on the board with a 32 yard run by Kale Schatz, and two point conversion was no good, 30 to nothing. And then Beck finished it off the 335 mark of the fourth with a uh, one yard run, 36 to nothing. Nothing. The PAT was no good. And the final, 
again tonight on the Fort County Solid Waste District scoreboard, 36 to nothing. Join us again tomorrow uh, morning for Coach's Corner here on Giant FM. We'll talk to area coaches. We'll talk to Coach Schaefer uh, uh, more about tonight's game and look forward to next week as they travel to Lewis Cass. So for Val, for Steve at RTC and the camera guys, we'll say good night. Talk to you tomorrow morning and next Friday night. Giant FM and RTC TV4.